Despite how much has been learned about the Earth and its more than 1,000 active volcanoes, several things in the field of volcanology remain a mystery. For instance, in the last 10,000 years there have been several supermassive volcanic eruptions which cooled the entire planet and generated short-term volcanic winters. As an example, the cold snap the world experienced in 44 BC can be traced to the formation of the massive Akma caldera in Alaska. However, the origin of several other similarly sized recent eruptions remains a mystery. The most peculiar of these seemingly missing volcanic eruptions is the one in 1808. That year, a volcanic eruption approximately 50 times the size of the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens occurred, causing a volcanic haze to travel across the southern hemisphere of the planet. Yet, despite the modern world having essentially been explored at the time, the source of this volcanic eruption remains unknown. However, after analyzing all the existing volcanoes, historical accounts, and wind patterns, I may have finally solved the mystery as to which volcano created this massive eruption. First, how do we know that a large explosive eruption occurred in 1808? Whenever a large explosive eruption occurs, significant quantities of sulfur dioxide gas travel around the planet as they are ejected high into the atmosphere. They then fall to the ground and are preserved in layers of glacial ice which can then be verified. Note how this section of ice contains two peaks. The second and larger spike represents the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia which caused the year without a summer. Yet, seven years beforehand, another eruption approximately half its size occurred but no one seemed to have noticed. Since this eruption was so large, it distributed particles of ash around the planet. This ash has since been analyzed, revealing that the volcano which produced it was andesite in composition. Thus, whatever volcano generated the mystery eruption was a stratovolcano and not a shield volcano or lava dome complex. Then, in 2014, a PhD student discovered evidence of this volcanic eruption, allowing where it occurred on the planet to be narrowed down. Beginning on December 4th, 1808, scientists recorded an unusual atmospheric haze which was spotted in both Colombia and Peru. This haze represented an aerosol of sulfuric acid which seemingly came from the south and traveled northwards. Given the direction of prevailing winds and the extent of the planet which was explored at the time, this narrowed down the source of the eruption. Whatever volcano produced this eruption was located south of the equator between eastern Indonesia and the nation of Tonga. Looking around the area, there are more than 100 active volcanoes, several of which have supermassive calderas. One of these young-looking calderas, which was undated, was from the Tofua volcano, which seemed to be a perfect match. Its 6 km wide and deep caldera is a perfect match to the size expected from the 1808 mystery eruption, and it primarily erupted andesite. Yet, this caldera was recently dated to a much older age, meaning that it formed in 1040 AD. Given the location of the atmospheric aerosol veil in 1808, I conclude that an eruption must have originated around approximately 20 degrees latitude somewhere in the nation of Tonga. In 2003, a volcano which appears to be a perfect match was discovered for the first time by scientists. This volcano is currently unnamed, but is located at a shallow depth underneath the ocean's surface just 50 kilometers west of the island of Tongatapu. The main feature of this volcano is a large caldera which measures 7 kilometers long and 4.5 kilometers wide. Surrounding this submarine caldera on the seafloor are very thick layers of ash which appear to have been recently deposited as very few signs of erosion were present. These scientists estimated the age of the massive caldera to be approximately 200 years old. Although the evidence of this andesitic volcano's eruption has existed for more than a decade, no one seemingly made the connection between this submarine volcano and the global mystery eruption until now. Based on the caldera's size, it formed an explosive eruption which ejected between 30 and 50 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock. This is a perfect match in terms of timing, composition, location, and size for the mystery eruption. Thus, I believe this little-known volcano to be the source of the 1808 mystery eruption. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.